Norman S. Powell dead, producer of 24 Dies of Acute Respiratory Failure, age 86. James Corden defends Paul Prince Ari saying the decision to quit UK was not easy. And Chloe Kardashian says she's at peace after Tristan Thompson split news. Norman S. Powell has passed away at the age of 86 and the cause of his death is acute respiratory failure. This was confirmed by his family spokesperson. Norman S. Powell was a renowned producer. He produced shows such as 24 and the new Dick Van Dyke. His work as a producer brought him two Emmy nominations, one for producing the 1977 ABC miniseries Washington Behind Closed Doors and another for guiding the second season 2002-2003 of the Fox drama 24. Norman had media in his blood as he was born into showbiz family, his father being Oscar-nominated cinematographer George Band and his mother being actress Joanne Blondell. In his career, he supervised the development and production of more than 80 telefilms and 11 series. Before his death, Norman was working on a sequel to his 2009 Samuel Goldwyn Showtime documentary Brothers at War. He was also writing a memoir. He is survived by his wife Ellen Levine and his son Matthew and also his children by his first marriage Sandra and Scott. Wow, so many achievements for just one person and that is a life well lived. May his soul rest in perfect peace. Moving on to the next gist, in an interview with US Radio host Howard Stern, James Corden spoke about what he thinks about Prince Harry's decision to move out of the UK and also quit his royal duties. As we know, Prince Harry had received a lot of backlash because of his decision. However, James said that he cannot imagine any of it is easy, but he didn't think any person in such a position in his life is easy, even though he has never spoken about it in depth with him. He also admitted that he felt that as though, you know, Harry is having a tough time, you know, with this change and everything. And of course, having to step away from his royal duties, I mean, it's a whole lot of change. He went on to say that the Harry that he knows is the happy and jockey character. The radio host tries to broach the subject of Princess Diana's death, but George quickly, you know, avoided the question. As we know, Prince Harry has been vocal about his mother's passing, and he also admitted that the fear of losing, losing his wife Meghan in a similar way was one of the main reasons the couple quit their royal duties and moved to California last year. I mean, I know that people have their own opinions about issues but I mean, issues like this are very sensitive especially to the people involved now, i feel like if you don't really know exactly what's going on in the royal family you should not put your mouth you get me of course it's not going to be easy for him to make the decision to just you know up and leave he must, he must have thought it through like really really thought it through before actually making that decision and people should actually respect that and there's also the fact that Meghan always tries, you know, to emulate Princess Diana in her outfit. I mean, she always wears the same outfits with, you know, something that Princess Diana has worn before. And of course, they always look so gorgeous. Well, all right, moving on to the next gist. Chloe Kardashian has disclosed that she's at peace. Following the latest Tristan Thompson split scandal, remember that the yaps about you know their splits were making the rounds when it was reported that Tristan cheated on Chloe again. Well, Chloe has now turned into quite the motivational speaker. In her first post, she wrote that she's always at peace because she knows that she was always true and had the best intentions and came from a good place with all her heart. And she was the very best to everyone, even the ones who wanted to spotlight her ugliest parts. You know. To the entire world she always wished them well and she will still wish them well in another one she said that her peace is hers it's personal it's unbreakable and she guards it with her life because she earned it and in another one she wrote that you cannot break through my lights or shake my peace it's a mine remember that in keeping up with Kardashian's reunion she said that it wasn't an easy thing for you know Tristan to get back with her but she doesn't understand why someone would go through all of that if they were not serious good question like you always wonder you know those exes always trying to come back into her lives uh, you know action all good 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 only for them to now come back and make a mess again like 
if you know you were going to mess up again then why go through the stress of trying to you know come back into my life are you just trying to break me more like that is one thing i will never understand like it beats me all right that's all i have for you guys in cbg today but do not forget you can keep this conversation and like to think about everything i've just said you know from top to bottom you can do this by following us on our social media platforms camera boy tv on instagram camera boy on facebook, facebook camera boy tv ng on twitter and on the big boy youtube guys camera boy tv do not forget to like comment and subscribe and if you want to watch this cute little pie it's been up to lately you can follow me on instagram at 18 underscore eva until next time peace out